I'm gonna try to not knock any pumpkins off this video, but I probably will. Um, welcome to the 2022 NASCAR. Sorry, this is a week late. Yes, I should have gotten this out before Texas. Yes, um, that was indeed the playoff opener. And I'm seeing Jordan Anderson has won the pole for the track race. But, um, we got Dega, the Roval, Vegas, Homestead, Martinsville, Phoenix, Luck. So, two races left, one on 12. And yeah, I'm going to tell you who I think makes it through each round. And uh, then we'll go. So after Texas, here are the points. Gregson locked in with the win. Almondinger is plus 47. Gibbs plus 46. Hill plus 30. Barry plus 24. Allgaier plus 20. And then Mayer and C each plus 1. They are very nervous. Then you have Herbst minus 1. Hemrick minus 8. Jones minus 13. Clements minus 29. It's a tall order. He's likely in a must-win situation, but he's won at a road course before. He's won in Super Speedway this year. Who's to say it couldn't happen? So, um, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and eliminate Jeremy Clements. I don't think he'll win it next week, especially. I just don't feel like everything will line up for him tomorrow. If you put all your eggs in that one basket, I just feel like it won't happen. So, sorry, Jeremy Clements. Boot you out. Boot you out of this round. Oh, this one hurts. I like this guy. He's improving. He's even a tad bit underrated, even if he is slightly a pay driver. Brandon Jones. 13 back. I don't think he'll be able to get the points. I don't think he'll be able to win. I'm sorry, I just don't. I just don't see a Brandon Jones. Um Ben Chung winning speed in a really long time. Don't see so that's Jones and Clements. I'm also hmm, I'm gonna eliminate Hamrick. I'm gonna eliminate Daniel Hamrick. As much as I want to believe in our defending champion, I just I just can't. I just can't. I, they haven't shown running speed much at all this year. I just I can't believe um, that he's gonna be able to make it. So that leaves one spot left. One more guy can get eliminated. And I'm gonna go with Sam Mayer. Oh, that hurts. That I like this guy. He's a great talent. Won a truck race at Bristol when he was 17. Um, we know what he's capable of, but only one point to the good. Um, going to a road course where he hasn't particularly per impressed. I'm going to Super Speedway, which is just random. I, I feel like he's going to be one of the lucky few that, uh, or one of the unlucky majority that doesn't not be involved in an incident, if that made any sense. Um, I am going to keep seeing him. I think he'll find a way to survive. Herps has just been so consistent, and he's been better recently compared to Mayor. Hogger, Barry, Hill, Gibbs, Allendinger, all basically blocked. Gregson is a block. So, we're on debate time. That leaves us with Gregson, Allendinger, Gibbs, Hill, Barry, Allgaier, C, and Herps. Um, okay. First elimination, Ryan C. I think we'll make it to the round of eight. I don't see him making it any further. Um, I believe in what that team is doing. Even though they've built up a really solid race team, I just don't think they have enough to uh, really take that next step and make a championship four. Then eliminate Herbs for the same reason. I just don't think he's a championship four caliber driver. I haven't seen the race one the speed that you need. Um, so I'm also going to eliminate Riley Herbs. Now this is where things get really difficult. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put Noah Gregson in my championship. I'm gonna do it. He's won four in a row. 
He's probably the hottest driver in all three series right now. With how crazy the cap series has been, how crazy the truck series has been. He's the one guy that in the top three series has been consistently able to churn out wins. I'm gonna put him in my championship four. I'm gonna do it. I am also going to put Almondinger in there and I feel like he'll do it on points. Uh, he'll be a strong contender at the Roval next week, but he's been the most consistent Xfinity Series driver all year. His average finish, I think, is sub eight, sub seven and a half, something crazy like that. So Almondinger. I am putting in a man. Man, there's some guys that are really good. Um, um, Ty Gibbs is in. Ty Gibbs is in. I was, honestly was on the fence, which sounds crazy, but he's been a tad inconsistent. And they didn't show great, you know, amount of speed at Texas. I'm a little worried about Ty Gibbs, but I feel like he, he will get into the next round, some way or another. So that leaves Austin Hill, Josh Berry, and Justin Hunter. That leaves those guys. Uh, Ollie Iyer's been really, really good this year. He's a veteran. Berry has impressed. Hill has been phenomenal as a rookie. Austin Hill. Austin Hill. I'll go Austin Hill. Um, by Barry, by Algar. That's going to be really close. But I think my championship for is Gregson Almanier and Gibbs Hill. Um, man, it's really difficult to pick against Austin Hill. But it's also really difficult to pick against Barry. And extremely difficult to pick against Allgaier with how good they've been this year. But, no, I just... Can't do it, man. He's been so consistent recently, so fast. And I, if he can win this weekend, which I think he's very capable of, we can see him uh, with some extra bonus points. So now, at Phoenix, championship four. Gregson Almond and Game Sale. Top four guys right now. Okay. Hmm. Gonna say no to Hill. I think he'll make title four. I don't think he'll be up there. Um, but we're on top five. Top ten at worst. But. I don't see him being able to really take that next step. Um, this hurts. I'm gonna say Almondinger doesn't get it. I think he'll win an Xfinity Championship in the next year or two because Gregson and Gibbs will go to Cup. But, man, those two are just electric and they always find a way up there somehow. So, yeah, gonna give it to, uh, gonna give the advantage there to Gregson and Gibbs. I think it'll be them big enough for the title. It'll be a legendary battle, one that will go down in history, one for the ages. But, um... This is so difficult. No Greg. No Greg is my pick for Trinity's year's champ. He is. Yep. Um... I just see... I see a little more pop in Noah Gregson. I see something in him right now I don't see in Ty Gibbs. Um, I feel like Gibbs also, he's a little more inexperienced. I feel like he may, might be more prone to making a poor move. Um, that may cost him a race in championship. So, for that reason, I am picking you Noah know, Gregson to be a champion. So, this is a little different than the other playoff prediction videos I did, but I hope you enjoyed. So, sorry that's a week late, but. Um, we're six subscribers away from 250, by the way, so thanks for all the support of the recent videos. Make sure you go check out those. Um, it's day week, Friday afternoon. It's going to be qualifying. It's like 45 minutes away as I'm filming this, so very exciting weekend. Um, yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, co uh, subscribe especially. Share the video, share the channel with your friends, friends, or anyone you like to ask for. We are six subs away from 250, so close. So share the video on the channel and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Samuel Sucks on the Spotter Channel YouTube page. God bless and good.